I have the lovely Chica in the Good Chef, Bad Chef kitchen today and she runs a cooking school in Melbourne where she teaches all Japanese things that you can cook at home. But today you're going to do something a little bit different. You're going to bring a little bit of Italian food in with some Japanese food. Yeah. What dish are you making for us today? We're going to cook the wasabi spaghetti today. Spaghetti? That's an Italian thing. No, it's not for everyone. OK, well, you're going to put a nice Japanese twist to it. I'm really interested to see what you do. What do we start with? All right, obviously, we're going to start to cook in pasta first. OK, nice. All right. I'll grab the lid for you. Thank you. Now, we put plenty of salt in there. You're going to do it my way, aren't you? Uh, yes. I'm not going to be shy, so I'm going to put the nice, good two pinch of salt. All right. In goes the pasta. Now it's going to pasta. In it goes. Beautiful. So just going to be just stirring around so that pasta is not going to be stick together. Okay, beautiful. Now, what else are we going to cook in our pasta dish? Well, another main ingredient is going to be the mushrooms. So if you can help me to chopping up the mushrooms, oh, that'd be great. I can do that for you. I've got some shiitake mushrooms and just slice it nice and thin like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. That's fantastic. I can do that for you. And we've got some other mushrooms here as well, some anoki mushrooms. Yep. And some oyster mushrooms. Yes. Are these the mushrooms you would normally use at home? Yes, we do. In Japan, so we have got lots of different type of the uh, mushrooms and the enoki, oyster mushroom, and shimeji mushroom. That's and also shiitake mushroom. Shita oh, I love it. When you say shiitake, it just sounds so more authentic. I say shiitake, but um, how do you say it again? Shiitake. Shiitake. It's, okay, it's, it's got an E on the end. Now we've got the mushrooms ready. Is that enough there for you? Some... Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay. Just spread out everything. Okay. How do we cook the mushrooms? What do you do differently with your mushrooms? The first thing I'm going to start with the cold oil, not hot oil. No, you you, you got to start with yeah. hot pans. No, but it's just easy to maintain all the heat. Um, it's nice to start with a cold heat so that you're not going to burn everything. And while it's cold, just put them all together in. Beautiful. So the thing about the mushrooms, they soak up some of the oil, so you don't need to have it really hot, do you? No, you don't. Now, this is beautiful wasabi we get from Tasmania, but there's a region in Japan that have been growing wasabi for hundreds of years. Where's that? Yes, so that's the Amagi Mountains on the Izu Peninsula. They're growing about more than 250 years. Wow, OK. Now, I've got this lovely little device here for grating the wasabi. I've had it before in sushi restaurants where they use shark skin. Yes, they do. Which is an abrasive. And you just turn it around and around like this yep. and you get the fresh wasabi. That is... Oh. There's nothing oh. like it. You know, the powdered dried wasabi is lovely, but when you get it fresh like this, oh. it's probably one of the best in the world. It is. And not only do they grow it in Japan, but we have it here in Australia. So yeah. I'll pop that there for you. Fantastic. Now, the mushrooms are so tang along beautifully. And I, I know what you mean by just starting it off slowly. The mushrooms are starting to brown on the outside. So oh, that oh. looks fantastic now. So we're going to put the butter and then a little bit of soy sauce in it here. You want soy sauce now? Yes, that'd be great. Okay. A little bit of soy sauce. Okay. Japanese soy sauce, of course. That's yes. about a tablespoon, do you think? Yes, that's about Is that right. right. Yeah. OK. And now the butter goes in? Yeah, butter goes in. Do you use a lot of butter in Japan? We do, actually. Yeah, it's not authentic um, ingredients, but we do a lot of fusion of the Western um, Japanese cooking. Now, yeah. I've got some spring onions over here. Do you want yeah. me to slice these? Yeah, if you can chop that, that'd be great. OK, so this doesn't take very long. It's a few minutes for the pasta to cook yeah. and a few minutes for the mushrooms to soften up. I love the butter and the soy sauce in there. Yeah. I reckon we should be able to put this together once that pasta's ready and we'll have this dish in no time. Yeah. Pasta is getting ready and the mushrooms getting ready as well. Beautiful, ready to pull it all together. All right, can you check if the pasta is ready? Oh, that's what I like. Yeah. All right, let me have a look at that. Mmm. I have a little bite and I have a little spin around like that. If it spins around the right way, it's ready to go. Aww. The pasta's ready. All right, great. Mm. Now I'm just going to have that in there. Cook the pasta into the saucepan. And I like the way you let a little bit of the water go in there as well and create a sauce. Yeah, so the pasta sauce makes a beautiful, beautiful sauce. So oh. I'm not going to be shy. So just going to that put together. And also, yes, bring onion, please. There we go. In there goes. Is that enough? Yes, that's great. And a handful of the nori sheet as ah, well. Ah, this is a shredded nori. And then also put the wasabi in there. This is like uh, we would use chilli. So, um, you know, if we want some extra bite, we put some chilli in there. That's quite thick. So lucky I've got this teaspoon here. So just scrape off that wasabi. 
I like that. Now, wasabi is really, really strong. It gives you that kick, but unlike chili, it goes away very quickly. So you get this punch, and then then it's gone. Okay. Now I'm going to hold right. the plate there. Do you want to plate that up straight up there? All right. Okay. Let's see, I'm going for it. Nice long spaghetti. So you pick it up like that, and you do that little uh, professional twist at the end. That's something I see a lot of chefs doing. So uh, you picked up that one, haven't you? Look at that. Yes. Fantastic. All right. I love it. All right, let's garnish up a little bit to ease the lemon. So if you can okay. cut the lemon, that would be great. A nice, like a lemon wedge. Is that yes, how you do it? Please. Okay. I can do that for you. Take that off there. And then a quick little wedge. I'll do a quick wedge because I want to get into this pasta. I'm really interested to see. Is that what you want? That's fantastic. Okay, perfect. And we might want to have the fresh wasabi, tiny bits on the top in there. I can put a little bit on top there. So how much all of that on there? Yeah, that's what we do. Whoa, that's a lot, but that's... why not? We've got a lot. It's fresh wasabi, Australian wasabi, and a great little Japanese dish here yeah. with an Italian bent to it. Grab your fork yeah. and, and tuck into it. And a little bit of lemon squeeze as well. Okay, a little bit of lemon squeezy on it. We love that. And that wasabi, hopefully, it's not too hot. It's not going to kill me. The wasabi, the soy is great. I love the mushrooms as well. And that little bit of lemon juice works beautifully. This is a great dish. Although I reckon it's more Italian than Japanese. What do you think? Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah, it is. Always a pleasure having you here and I can't wait till you come back next time. Thanks.